Hello, welcome to the demo of our newest template, specifically designed for aesthetic clinics. So upon your purchase, you receive access to our templates folder, which includes one file for cash flow and booking management, and another one for inventory management. So both of these templates are in view-only mode. You will need to make a copy in your Google Sheets account to enable editing. To do that, click File on the upper corner and then select Make a Copy from the options. Then make sure that you, before you click Make a Copy, selected the um, My Drive from the folder options. So once you've created copies on your Google Sheet or Google Drive account, you can now set up the template to fit your business needs. So start puna tayo sa um, cash flow and booking management. So, dun sa start tab ng cash flow and booking management is where you set up everything. So, starting with the list of services. So, these are just examples, pero pwede nyo lang siyang i-edit later on. And then, another column for the list of expense categories, list of staff. So, input nyo dito yung names nila. Then, modes of payments that are acceptable on your business. Usually, cash and gcash naman yan. And then, point of sale, for example, social media accounts, or if walk-in lang yung customer, or if may referral from relatives, friends, yan, pwede nyo lang ding specify for the points of sale. Next tab is for the client database. So, this is where you're going to log all the customer information, such as the name, birthday. Then, yung each column naman, automated na yung computation yan based on the birthday and the date today. The next column is for the address. So, mag-input lang dito and then contact number sa last para hindi na uh, paulit-ulit na input yung data ng client later on. Now, for the income tracker, so, dito, input nyo lang yung date, then specify kung yung, yung point of sale, based dun sa mga naka-input sa setup. Ayan. And then, tag nyo rin kung old client or customer or new customer para matrack din natin yan later on sa dashboard. Then, specify yung uh, client name, then yung service na in ni client, how much yung cost of service, the mode of payment na uh, ginamit, and then kung sinong staff ang nag-assist per client. Yan. Para in case na may commission later on, madali na lang itrack kung magkano yung total income per staff. Now, for the expense tracker, this one is here lang din. Uh, input nyo lang yung date, category, description, amount, and the mode of payment. Next is the bookings uh, tracker. So, dito nyo input lahat ng appointments, yung booking date, uh, kung kailan sila na tumawag or nagpa-reserve, ano yung details. So, dito ikumplituhin nyo yung details like yung client name, anong service yung uh, gusto niyang i-avail and anong time. Then, specify kung kailan yung appointment niya and yung status if it's confirmed, cancelled, or no-show. So, this booking tab is linked to our calendar tab. So, lahat ng um, nakalag dito sa bookings magre-reflect dito sa calendar based dun sa nakalagay na appointment date and details. So, yan. This calendar, by the way, is um, updated siya yearly. So, nakaset up siya sa current year. So, alimbawa, ang gagamitin nyo to again for the succeeding years, automatically mag-update yung calendar natin to current uh, year. So, alimbawa, 2026. Next year, mag-update to, to 2026. So, dito sa pinaka-first, ito, first na uh, chart natin, ma pwede nyo matrack kung confirm, tentative, or cancelled, or no-show. Yan. Kung i-check mo yan, yun lang yung mag appear dito sa calendar natin. Then, sa taas, meron tayong summary ng bookings, total bookings for the month, kung ilan yung confirm, tentative, cancelled, and yung no-show. So, dito, sa calendar din, makikita yung details per date. Kung i-update ko to ng June, ayan, click ko lang yung June, ayan, magre-reset na yung calendar. So, let's go back to July and have another example. So, for example, may another booking tayo for July 19. Example, client. 
service one no um pwede ulit at uh, 1 pm for July 20 naman tapos um halimbawa nag-cancel siya so back sa calendar kung halimbawa gusto ko lang i-check yung nag-cancel ito ayan so magre-reflect siya dito and then ma-add up din siya dito sa total lang cancelled na kung i-click ko ulit lahat to yung confirm or tentative mag appear lang din siya dito sa calendar so lahat ng naka-check yun lang magre-reflect dito sa calendar Next is the dashboard. So, dito sa dashboard, dito yung summary ng clients, kung new versus old clients, yung point of sale for the month, and yung cash flow summary for sales and expenses. So, sa taas, yung total income for the selected month. And then, next is yung total expenses and the net income. Meron din tayong different charts for sales overview. Magkita nyo yung breakdown ng sales per service, expenses, yan, breakdown per category, income per staff, kung magkano per staff yung pumasok na income. And then, new versus old clients, point of sale, ayan, per referral yan, or I mean, per POS, kung ilan. And then, meron din tayong weekly overview para makita nyo rin yung trend per week kung saan ba usually nagpipick yung clients para halimbawa ang need na mag-add ng staff. Ayun, ma-adjust yung schedule. Ayan. Then, as we scroll down, meron din tayo total number of clients, new clients, and old clients for the selected month. Then, yung first table natin dito is yung total ng sales per date. So, ayan, may total sales and total expenses per day. Next table naman is yung breakdown ng sales per services. The next table is yung breakdown ng expenses per category. So, makikita nyo lang din yun dito. And then, total ng clients per point of sale. Then, lastly, yung total income per staff. So, ganyan lang siya kasimple. Now, if palitan ko to ng date, ayan, magre-reset yung data natin. So, ang gagawin nyo lang talaga dito is mag-select or mag-enter ng date or month. Now, moving on naman sa inventory tracker, uh, very simple lang din to. Sa first tab, um, input nyo yung code ng mga items kung meron. So, this is optional lang. And then, input yung name or description per item. Kung may expiration date, enter lang din. Kung anong unit, halimbawa per piece ang pag-track ninyo or per box, enter nyo lang din. And then, yung minimum na inventory na gusto nyo i-maintain. Kapag yung um, um, available na stocks is below this set na minimum value, ma-auto tag siya as restock. Parang dito, ayan. So, dapat ang minimum is 20 pero ang available na lang is 11 and 4. Kaya na-auto-tag siya to restock the item. Now, for each monthly tab, pare-parehas lang sila ng layout. So, dito lahat ng colored columns and rows automated na yung computation, automated na yung values niyan. Ang gagawin nyo lang ay magtatag, ang mag enter ng data sa mga white field columns and rows like this one, yung initial inventory i-update ninyo kung ilan yung um, number of units yan, per item sa beginning of the month or end of the previous month. So, dapat updated to. Then, itong uh, monthly summary dito ng stocks in, use, expire, damage, and yung mga, alam ba, may mga free din kayong naibibigay. Um, yan, pwede rin itrack then yung available, mag-auto-compute na rin yan based dun sa mga total values natin dito and sa initial inventory then kapag, ayun, like I mentioned before kapag yung available values dito is below the minimum na units na nakaset sa setup kanina, ma-auto-tag siya to restock the item now, pag nag-swipe left tayo dito ito yung parang pinaka-inventory tracker nyo per month so, dito, input nyo yung date, yan, daily tracking to, and then yung item, specify nyo lang din, so let's have an example, ayan, then specify kung ilan, kung use, 
um, stocks in, expired, free, or damaged. Yan. So, alimbawa, for item number 3. Ayan. Item 3, may use na 10 pieces. Or 10 box, ano, 2 box na. So, pagbalik nyo dito, ayun, nag-reflect na yung use. Kapag pinalitan ko naman to ng expired, magre-reflect siya sa expired. Kung damage, magre-reflect lang din siya dun sa damage. Ayan. Then, ma-update siya or mababawas or madadagdag sa um, available uh, inventory. Now, kapag may mga dumadating naman na new items, itatag nyo siya as in. Halimbawa, may mga na-deliver na bago na pwede nyo i-restock. Dito nyo yan, din, itatag nyo siya as in. So, pare-parehas lang yan. So, update nyo lang siya daily and monthly yung initial inventory. So, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know. Thank you.